I was reading an interesting case there this morning about in the newspaper and the Irish Times actually about a trademark case involving diesel jeans. The High Court has ruled that a Monaghan jeans manufacturer has dishonestly copied diesel trademarks since 1979. The manufacturer of diesel jeans uh, is an Italian based clothing brand and the High Court has found that they are entitled to register the trademark in Ireland but uh, the High Court has found that the County Monaghan jeans manufacturer has since 1979 dishonestly and wrongfully copied diesel trademark of the popular Italian clothing brand. The judge has made a restraining order against the company Montex Holdings Limited from unlawfully using the diesel trademark. This move, he says, will remove all risk of confusion and or deception in the marketplace. The Italian-based Diesel SPA is in entitled to register the trademark in Ireland, the judge has said. D Diesel SPA, that's the Italian company, has been sen selling its clothing throughout many EU countries since 1978 and in Ireland since 1982 under its diesel brand. Montex, the Monaghan company, began making jeans in Ireland with the name Diesel on them since late 1979, early 1980. Montex applied for the trademark in 1992 to trademark the word Diesel uh, in its favour in Ireland, while Diesel SPA, that's the Italian company, sought to secure the registration in 1994. So Montex was first in looking to register the word diesel as a trademark in respect of jeans and clothing. Each side opposed the other's bid to register the trademark here. The office then, the controller of patents, designs and trademarks in 1998, upheld diesel SPA's objection to Montex's application. Montex appealed the decision to the High Court and then in 2001 to the Supreme Court which both refused its registration. So Montex was refused registration of the diesel brand in Ireland. In 2012, the controller upheld Montex's uh, opposition to Diesel's SPA's trademark request. Diesel SPA appealed this decision to the High Court, which found that it is entitled to register the trademark. The judge on uh, last week said that Diesel SPA claimed it designed the mark, thought up the name and applied it to its jeans and other products. The word is trademarked in many countries and Montex copied this in a flagrant violation of its ownership rights, Diesel SPA alleged. Montex, it claimed that it came up with the name independently and was its first user in Ireland, so it was entitled to own the trademark. It alleged it purchased the mark from Monaghan Textiles Limited at some point after it went into receivership in 1988. A director of Montex, Patrick McKenna, he said that he worked with Monaghan Textiles since 1963 and that the factory used to be next to a petrol station that had a big red diesel sign on display. He said they were trying to develop a name for the range of jeans and a colleague suggested this. The judge said, however, that much of Mr. McKenna's evidence could be given little or no weight due to it being hearsay and not backed up by other evidence. His assertion that he's never looked at Diesel SPA's Diesel logo strains credulity, according to the judge. The judge said it was clear from the evidence that Montex can only demonstrate use of the word from 1979 on, which is a year after Diesel SPA first used the mark in Italy and in three other European countries. The judge was satisfied that Montex, the Monaghan company, put forward no admissible or credible evidence to explain how it came to use the word on its genes. It was noteworthy that Montex's managing director, Michael Heary, who was also a director of Monaghan Textiles, gave no evidence on the circumstances in which the firm adopted the diesel name. Rather than believe the use was an amazing coincidence, the judge said it was more reasonable con to conclude that the Monaghan company or Monaghan Textiles saw Diesel SBA's brand name and proceeded to copy it. He rejected Montex's argument that even if it did copy the Diesel SPA mark, it was legitimate as it was not an employee of that firm and the mark was not registered in Ireland. In my view, the copying of a mark is an act of dishonesty 
dishonesty is never a legitimate business practice according to the judge. Had the Montex chosen the word gasoline, this 30-year battle would not have occurred, but instead it used diesel to effectively piggyback on the Italian firm's products, the judge found. The judge found that Montex is not and has never been the bona fide or lawful proprietor of the mark. So that's a 30-year battle over the trademark diesel in respect to diesel jeans, and it is certainly going to be one that I would have thought significant legal costs would be incurred if it's going on for that length of time. But there you go, trademark diesel jeans, Italian manufacturer, High Court has found that the Monaghan firm basically copied the Italian manufacturer's trademark and uh, even though it was first in the Irish market as it were, diesel, the Italian company was already selling its products in three or four European countries prior to uh, Monaghan Textiles commencing sales of diesel, diesel jeans. Hope you find this video useful. If you do, I'd appreciate if you give it a thumbs up down below and you may be interested in uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel and or listening to my podcast, The Irish Law and Small Business Podcast. Thanks a lot.